Hi guys and welcome to another Bootstrap 4 video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. In our last video we put together this mock parallax section down here. In this one I'm going to use a table and I'm going to put together a wine list just using a table. And we'll have a little title here then we'll have our list underneath. So we've got our Bootstrap 4 site files in a folder over here. We're going to be working on the index.html and the custom CSS file that we created in our CSS folder. So let's go ahead and open these with our brackets text editor. Just right click and go down to open with brackets. I've already got mine open. If you don't have brackets, it's free. It's an awesome text editor. As I say, it's free to use for as long as you like you can download it from a link below if you have your own text editor that's fine too just use what you like to use but uh, I, I have to say if you're following along with these you want to probably use uh, brackets purely because we're, we're using some extensions and if you open your file and go down to extension manager the particular extension that we're going to be using today is let's go to installed bootstrap 4 snippets extension and you can just type in if you don't have this into the search it'll bring it up for you you can download the zip file they're all free just drag it there and it'll install it for you once it's in your installed tab here just hit the more info and it'll open up the site that has all your nice short codes on it and the one I'm going to be using today is for a table. So let's get started. Here's our site. And here I'm going to add a little title. Then I'm going to use a table underneath for displaying our list of wines that we have. So let's open our HTML and let's get started on that. Let's close that one out. Here we go and here's a section that we created last time just to show we could show off that parallax section and we just got a section we've called it wines which is fine we've got a container that we haven't even used yet so inside of that I want to put a title um, so I'm going to start a new class or new div with a class. Um, let's call it, gosh, let's just call it title, I suppose. I'll call it W title. So I might have used title before already. And it's going to have some text in it. I want the text to be centered. And I also want the text to be white in color because we've got that blue background so I'm going to use the same attribute as we have up here or the same class I should say text light and that'll make any text that we use in this uh, little div here light so let's go text light and let's close out that div bit of space in between there. Now we want to have a, a title. So let's make that H2 heading 2. And let's call it wine selection I guess. Alright and let's drop down one and have a little tagline underneath or a little bit of paragraph text. So P for paragraph text and in between let's write something about a wine something like compliment your meal with some wine let's see That. Compliment your meal with one of our award-winning wines. That'll do. 
So we've got a little section there. And we've called it W title. And underneath there, we're going to want to put a table. And that table is going to want to have the list of the wines that we're carrying or offering in it. And this is where we're going to use our little short codes that we were talking about earlier on. And I think I'm just going to use that top one. Have have a play with these. Type them in and take a look at them because they're great. They've got all different different types. I'm just going to use that one. Bootstrap four table hover. Uh, what that means, it'll be a table, and when you hover over the actual elements on it, uh, they'll lighten up or darken down or highlight basically. So let's just type in that short code BS four table hover. Back to our brackets here. So it was, what was it, BS4 table hover. And there it is, let's just click on that. And bang, that's just put in a little table for us. That saved an awful lot of typing. And if you're anything like me, although I've been typing for years and years, I'm still lousy at it. <laughs> this saves me an awful lot of time. So let's put that in there. Now I'm wondering if I can apply the class of text light to that and that should turn all this text light as well, hopefully. I've not tried this with a table. Okay, let's try that. Let's save that and have a look, see what we got. Control S to save. Let's go back to our site. It's over here. And do a refresh. I'm going to take away that height attribute here, and our title and our table should appear here. Yeah, and it did. It uh, see when I hover over one there, it just highlights it. That's the hover table hover part. That's fine. What we'll do, we'll have our, our wine name there and uh, and a price here, I guess maybe bottle, glass, I don't know, I'll play with that in a minute. Just wondering why I've got a lot of padding going on here. It looks like that's taken on that attribute right there. Did I call it the same thing? Maybe I did. Let's have a look. Let's go back to our... So I've called this wine title. Oh yeah, I've used the same class, so it, it's it's taken uh, uh, it's taken the CSS from here and applied it to here. Which, if we go to our custom CSS, there's a W title. It's giving it a padding of 150, 20 pixels, and it's made it bold, which doesn't look too bad. But that's not really what I want at the moment. Well, let's take another look. Yeah, I think that's just too much too much space for this particular section that works fine there I think that's too much so let's give it a different class uh, I'll call it WLT for wine list title how's that how's that sound okay let's save that control s now when we go back that should not be bold we should have less padding at the top here we'll probably have to add a bit more to get it how we want it there we go um, that's what I expected to see just now so what I need to do is I'm going to add a bit of padding just to this section here so it pushes that down a bit and I'll add a little bit of padding to this so there's a space between the two so let's let, let's do that so this is our section here's our first div our WLT and there's our table section so let's go to our CSS and from last time we had the attribute of height 700 pics because we wanted to demonstrate the parallax section so we can get rid of that let's lose that but what I will give it, I'll give it some padding, top and bottom, left and right. 
let's give it say uh, 100 picks and 20 picks that way the section will have a bit of padding top and bottom let's save that and I'll just demonstrate There we go, we've got the padding there, top and bottom now. It's no longer 700 pixels, it's whatever the section filler is. And this particular bit here, I'll probably want to put a bit of a padding on the bottom just so it pushes the, the list down a little bit more. So again, that was RWLT. So I'm just going to give it some padding on the bottom of say 50 pixels and it's a class so it's a class of WLT open close some brackets and padding bottom what I say 50 pixels that should probably do it maybe a bit much we'll see save that let's go back and refresh yeah that's about right that's about right this just gives it a bit of separation between our title and our actual list here so now let's start adding items to our list I might decide to get rid of that footer that's not list items that's just a re repeated title at the bottom there so let's have a think what I want to do here think what I'm going to do is I'll do the wine name here and then I'll put the price by the glass and the price by the bottle there so let's go into our index and here's our titles so I'm going to put Just put wine there. Second one, I'm going to put glass. And third one, I'm going to put bottle. So if you want to purchase a glass, you've got glass there. If you want to purchase bottle, we'll put bottle there. And let's see if we can't put in the name of one here and let's give it a price say nine dollars a glass it's a nice wine and perhaps it's usually four or five times the price so let's say thirty five dollars for the actual bottle so let's say that control s go back to our site and see what that's going to look like there we go okay I've put that in the wrong place obviously <laughs> I've put that in our footer section there which I probably need to get rid of let's have a look let's go back there I wasn't looking yeah that was our footer section I'm actually going to get rid of that let's copy this down to here's our body here's our actual list so let's put copy that and put that over there and I'm going to get rid of that footer section see table foot footer I really don't need it okay that should be in the right place now and we just repeat this process uh, you know you sort of copy it below I'll show you in just a second control save let's go back and the footer should disappear and our wine should be here there we go there's the wine name there's the glass there's the bottle just wondering might look better if we center align this text here let's just try that let's 
give it text center. This is on our main table, so it's the whole class for the table. Um, let's spell that right, it's not going to work. Text dash center. Save that. Let's just take a look. May or may not, may, may not work. Let's have a look. Yeah, that's really not done what I wanted it to do. So let's put that back as it was. Let's leave that. I think that was better actually left aligned. Save as we were. Refresh and that should go back over to the left there. Okay, and I'm going to pause now and just populate that. There's no point you watching me just copying and pasting. And all I'm going to do is we've got another section here. So I'll populate that exactly the same as the first one. Then I'm going to take it, Control C to copy, drop down to add another row, etc., etc. So I'm going to pause and I'm just going to populate that a little bit. There we go, I've populated that with some wines now. So let's save that. Go back to our site. Refresh, and I should have a nice list of wines going on here. There we go. And then when we put our mouse over each one, it highlights it for us. I've just noticed this is bold right here and these are just regular so I think that's probably a table heading let's have a look where are we, where we are. I was on the right one okay yeah table see that says th 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 so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna copy this one and I'm gonna paste it below itself and I'll put this control C or it's all I'm doing to copy you can right click and hit copy if you prefer uh, let's select 9 and 35 now let's get rid of this Save that back to the site. There we go. They're all the same there. There's our little list of wines, price per glass and price per bottle. Okay, so let's, why don't we add it to our bootstrap menu here and we'll have it after the menu and before the contact. Let's go back to our index HTML and that's real easy. Our section is called wines. I think that's what we we'll call our menu item actually as well. So let's scroll up to our menu. Here's our menu and we want it after the menu. <laughs> it's kind of confusing saying menu, menu, menu. This is a menu and that's our food menu. This is our bootstrap menu. So I'm just going to copy this which is the one before it and copy any of them it doesn't really matter and of course I want it to say wines this is what it says this bit is what appears in the bootstrap menu and this is where it's going at the moment it's pointing to the menu section and I want it to point to our wines section which is our section ID title wines and that should tell it to go down to there so let's save that let's go back to our site now when I fresh refresh there should be another one here that says wines there it is let's see if we can scroll down to it fantastic let's go back to the top
Okay, that's working nicely. So there you have it. There's how to use a table with Bootstrap 4. I hope you found that useful. If you have, please like the video and subscribe to our channel. If you're interested in web development, please take one of our web development courses below. We've got some huge discounts for our YouTube subscribers. And there's also some great free courses down there. So once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.